Welcome to Modi Makes. What's good, everybody? My name is Modi. This is Modi Makes, and today I've decided to finally officially become a classical artist and paint on some pottery just like the ancients loved to do. Now, on my ongoing quest to make my art more interesting by painting on anything that I can get my hands on that I think it would look good on, I found this vase at Goodwill. Well, it's not really a vase as much as it is a jug, but you could put water and flowers in it, so get off my back. I don't need to hear it right now. <laughs> and I thought I was really interested in the texture of it and the shape of it, and I thought it would look really, really good with some of my characters painted on it. And so I split the vase up into three different parts because I thought that with the size of it that would work really well for the shapes that I wanted to go with and the rule of thirds is a really important thing in art. So I figured I might as well use it to my advantage here. And I was inspired by the classical Japanese proverb or whatever you would call it of the three wise monkeys, you know, the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil figures. And I decided to take that idea and make my three characters out of each of those individual wise monkeys and have that be the basis for the illustrations that are on this pot. So let's get into it and check out them characters, shall we? Hey! 
Well, there you have it, my peoples. My first pottery painting is complete. And you know, I wasn't sure at first how much I was gonna like it based on my sketches, but now that I see it in its entirety, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was a little bit difficult for me to get the line work as clean as I normally like it to be because of the nature of painting on a 3D object, which I've encountered before with my piggy bank paintings. If you haven't checked those out, go ahead and check those out. They're really fun. Um, but I've always been one to embrace the imperfect Perfections, and it turned out pretty well. Um, I find that when things are, you know, too mechanically perfect, it takes away that human element and it makes it a little bit less interesting. I mean, at that point, you might as well just like do a digital version of it and make it as perfect as possible and then just print it on. But that's not the point of why I do this here. But let me know what you guys think of the piece down in the comments below. And let me know if you have any questions about this video or any other videos. I'll be going through all the comments and replying to each and every one of them as I always do. And you know, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a like, that would be fantastic. And if you like me, you like the channel, and you want to help support me, the number one thing that you can do is to subscribe. I really couldn't thank you enough if you did. It means the world to me. And with all that out of the way, and without further ado, let's get into those final shots, shall we?